in my continuing efforts to get the best performance possible from the Spider Farmer G12 Hydroponic Grow System, I'm going to test out a shroud made from plywood that is covered with white panda film. A lot of you recommended trying this one out, so I picked up the smallest roll that I could find and built the shroud, then pulled a few measurements. As I am just looking to see what is going to work best, I'm not going to be testing at every power level, I just turned it all the way up in both the veg and flower settings. First up, we are going to be looking at the flower light levels. I am just going to say it now, this is a little disappointing to be honest. The light levels aren't bad, with the center being at 400 par, with the corners closer to 300, but I was expecting more. If we look back to my original measurements without any shroud, we are seeing a solid improvement. In the center here, the light levels were at about 320 par, while the corners were closer to 200 par. Definitely a solid improvement, and if I had not done any other testing, I would have been happy with these results. However, we need to jump over to the veg results to see what is actually possible. First up, let's start with the original measurements with no shroud at all. We saw around 340 par in the center of the tray, with the corners at just over 200 par. When we took these measurements, I thought it was pretty incredible, but I definitely wanted to try it out with a shroud. If we look at the latest measurements that we just took with the Panda Film Shroud, you can see that the par levels in the center are a little higher than the flower results were at just over 400 par, with the corners all close to or just over 300 par. Again, that is a pretty solid change from no shroud at all, and it was pretty easy to set up. However, these results pale in comparison to the next batch, which is what the light levels were with the tin foil taped to the sides. Now, the center levels have jumped up to around 500 par, with the corners all a lot higher as well. I am really surprised at these results, as I really expected the Panda Film to put up numbers that were better than the tin foil, especially since the tin foil wasn't flat at all and was bouncing light all over the place. I am going to be doing one more experiment with this unit, and that is to pick up some super reflective mylar and apply it to the same plywood pieces that I made for this test. I was going to try to include those results in this video as well, but the package seems to be lost somewhere in the Pacific Ocean at the moment, so hopefully it will arrive soon and I can update you all on those results as well. I don't know if you folks are as interested in these weird little tests that I have been doing lately as I am, but it has been really fun trying out some of these experiments that I have wanted to do for a while. Let me know if there is anything you would like to see me try out in the comments down below, as I would love to hear about them. A big thank you to Spider Farmer for sending over the G12 Indoor Hydroponic Grow System, and if you want to check out this unit or any of their other gear for yourself, make sure to click on the links to their website in the video description down below, and use the discount code GEEKS at checkout to get 8% off your entire order.